as an Indian, I find Denmark a fascinating society. You're a prosperous society. You have grown very rapidly over the years. You've reached a level of technological sophistication and material well-being, which is on par with some of the richest societies in the world. But you are also focused on issues of sustainability. You are very focused on your global responsibility in terms of, let's say, emissions of greenhouse gases. And therefore, you're moving, you have moved very rapidly towards the use of renewable sources of energy. Now, this is something that we can learn. There are other parts of the world, which I won't name, where I'm afraid all they focus on is consuming more and more without any concern for the impacts on the environment. So I think what we can learn from Denmark in India is the fact that you can grow, you can grow in a manner that is green, you can grow in a manner that is environmentally responsible. And I think we, as we are at the threshold, threshold of development, certainly need to learn that lesson. Because otherwise, we would end up with uh, a negation of what Gandhi ji said. You know, Gandhi was asked, would you not want India to become as prosperous as Britain? And his answer was that it required Britain to use half the resources of this planet to reach this, its level of prosperity. And he paused for a minute and he said, how many planets would India require? So, you know, we have to learn this from Denmark. We have to learn this great importance that you have attached to growing with sustainable objectives. And I think if we were to do that, then perhaps we can reorient some of our growth strategies also.